Meet Shelly Murphy. She's a quilter that has recently taken on a new job. So what they're doing is they're asking people to make these cloth masks from 100% cotton that they can put over that mask to extend the life of that mask. So that's what I'm doing. These cloth masks are said to preserve the life of reusable masks and also can be worn on their own. According to the CDC, masks should be worn whenever in public settings where it is difficult to maintain social distancing. Even though the CDC has said this is okay to do, it's really better than nothing. It's not full protection and that we're washing them every day after we wear them. Um, and it's really more to pre prevent the spread. It's not so much going to keep you from catching it, but if you're in that 14-day window and you've already been exposed to it and you have it but you have no symptoms yet, you can be spreading it to a whole bunch of other people without even knowing you're sick. These masks can also help nurses such as Deborah Harrison stay safe even when not on the job. It enables me to be able to have my own masks, wear them, wash them. Um, we are being fitted for the N95s, but they're only to be worn in an active uh, COVID-19 home. If you have any interest in making your own cloth masks, you can find instructions on the CDC's website with a list of materials and steps on how to make your own. Reporting in Singapore, I'm Justin Fan.